Hey guys, this is the Gaming Robot and welcome back once again to the Birch Forest Rally. It's great to have you back. We're currently on location at Midpava with the logo of choice behind us, which is the Royal Scots Class 46109 Royal Engineer. And this is Cole's rebuilt uh, Royal Scot. It's one of, it's a really great model. It's got loads of detail and all that stuff. Um, and you'll see all of that as we go about doing today's, uh, timetable, which is to be a demonstration of a past ser well, not past service, but it's basically, it's a shunting maneuver that's not often used or not used anymore on the main line, but it was used extensively, um, during a lot of past services like during the golden age of steam shall we say anyway more on that later firstly i want to welcome a special guest which is my camera account over there she'll be doing um a lot of singling and some driving of other locos throughout this video so bear with because i not only control my main account i also control my camera account hence it being called camera account <laughs> anyway Let's get on board and get ready. So a reverser is set zero, regular is set zero, train break is at 80, firebox is void because, well, I, I even though I've used the new driving system an awful lot, um, it's difficult to get a grip on. And I made a video about it as well, so it's just like, uh, anyway, right, um, train break, reverser, so set reverser into pull forward, take off the train break which just gets us to roll. And then, because I can't lean out of the cab, we'll give a check, see that the line is set, so we can go straight forward. And then we're gonna pull up the regulator, hopefully, to a solid 15%, and we'll begin to move. 15%, Never mind. we'll just go 20. And while all that's happening, um, we'll just enjoy the ride, I guess. It's nice. It's a nice little cab, all great details. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to run across the points here and we're going to back down onto our train which is currently set up there. So we'll shut off on the regulator, we'll apply some breakage. I have both my train brakes and independent brakes linked just so that um, as the professional YouTuber that I am I can stop very quickly should things go wrong. Alright and then we'll do a bit of winding. There we go, mind it's full reverse, there we go. And then we're just gonna check and wait for the point to change. There it goes. And we'll signal, we'll give a whistle. And we will open up the firebox door, I mean the reverser. There we go, we're off. All right, now I gotta be gentle with this one because uh, well, the coaches don't have that much weight to them when they're standing still. Uh, that doesn't really make much sense, but uh, just go with me on this. So, we're off. We're backing up. Checking the distance. Make sure everything's good. Should be... Yep, we should really be... Ooh, frames. Yikes. I guess that's because I moved the camera cam. Whoops. Alright, and we stopped a little short, so we're gonna apply a bit of acceleration. Go. Keep going. Yeah. Alright, we have buffered, so we will set our train brake back to half. 49%. That's irritating, but we'll get on with it. Um, we will couple up our train, like so, decouple from shunting mode, normal mode, normal mode, coupled, there's something on the end. And then with some of our locos, as mentioned in the uh, test build video, we can add laps. So I usually tend to add, I don't know the how this is all done, but I usually tend to add lamps on the side that the driver's controls are on, so all the reverses and stuff. I don't know, it, it seems, it, it's a little difficult. And... Check the station's clear, everything's good, and we will set into, once we can get in the cab, full reverser, oh no, oh, I'll just do it manually. There we go, full reverser, brakes on, regulator up a bit, just 
just to keep us moving forward and whistle. Break off. Break the up. And we're off. Train's coming with us. It's good. It's good. Alright. Bit more acceleration. Still can't activate the keybind controls. This this happens occasionally. I think you just have to kind of wiggle a bit. No? Oh, and this one as well. This also happens a lot. Yeah, it's um everything's still a work in progress, I guess. You know, you you can't really say too much towards it all. Anyway, we're off. We're moving. Leaving Midpatha and bound for village terminus. So the maneuver we're planning to do is called uh it's I, I don't I don't think it has a name, but we basically employ the usage of a pilot loco, which will help us run around the train without running the loco around the train. That'll make sense later. And uh, yeah, so we'll just head through the bridge over here, this bridge that needs building. I'm adding a lot of infrastructure along the lines, just trying to make sure it make everything look more atmospheric, shall we say. Okay. The amount of times I, I go on about atmosphere and train games to people outside of YouTube. They know who they are. Alright, cut off the regulator, apply some more throttle. There we go. We're heading towards Chunk Tunnel. Um, and as you can probably guess, I've added a couple of mods and shaders to the world. So we've got Journey Map on the uh, top right side. And we are using, uh, I think it's Natural of All Shaders. I'll uh, leave, I'll correct myself in the description or I'll leave a link in the description. Everything that you see being used today, we'll leave a link in the description. Um, I also have heard news that we'll be having a loco that's gonna be returning to the home fleet today. So that's quite exciting. Um, and yeah. So with Journey Map, it just basically allows me, I think, get it open. It allows me to see all of the track plan, which makes a weird number five. Um, should be doing this while driving. Definitely should be doing this while driving. But yeah, that's basically it. There go my frames. Oh my gosh, I need those back. No? Okay. That's, that's great YouTube quality. Alright, apply some more acceleration. Limit throttle. The one thing that sort of bothers me about this model, I'm not sure if it's on every model and I just it's more noticeable on this one, is how it seems to rotate on the center driving wheel. So it makes it so only the center driving wheel goes around the corners and then the front driving wheels and the guiding wheels, well the guiding wheels stay on the track, but the front driving wheel kind of just doesn't, like the front two or the, the I don't know. I can't really say as I don't do any modeling outside of uh, I don't do any modeling in general. I don't do any developing or any of the technical stuff. I just drive trains. That's literally all I do. I just drive trains. We can kind of work the loco against the brakes a little. Just keeping it nice and consistent without too much issues. Cut the regulator back, apply some more acceleration. There we go. Steady as. Alright, whistle. So if you've watched this channel a couple of times before, you'll know this route. This is just a long tunnel all the way down to Village Terminus. We usually take it at an astonishing 25 miles an hour and then break hard as we get into Village Terminus. But uh, I figured out, while I was route testing yesterday, I figured out a way to make it so that I could control the speed of the loco as it went down. And we went down at 22 miles an hour and we were still able to slow down. So I'm going to add some brakes. Let's shut up the regulator. Find the reverse it forward a bit. And out we go. And oh my gosh, my frames. I apologize. Alright. There we go. Everything's moving again. And we want to be slowing down as we come to cross over the new track work near outside, which I did in the recent time lapse. You should totally go watch that. Alright, and then we can just kind of cruise in, and uh, you should see off to the right side of the track, like over there, there will be our station pilot. Just gonna cruise in, 
just gonna do the first person driving, or I'll just open the firebox, that's fine. Um, anything we need to do, train break wise? Need to wait till we're fully in the platform. I think we're gonna have to shoot it a bit. It's three coaches, five coaches, four coaches, sorry. There we go. We just, yeah, we're gonna have to accelerate it. I'm sure I shot my pot. There we go. Alright. And then we just want to break roughly around where this little race section is. Like that. Awesome. Alright. Then we'll decouple. Check that the train's fully in the platform. Yeah, looks about right. We'll decouple. We'll take off the lamp on this side. We'll leave the middle lamp on. Um, and we're going to pull forward into the head shunt. And thus we'll begin. Oh, I got both brakes are linked. Thus shall begin this shunting maneuver I talk so much about. So, due to the length of the loco, and as I mentioned, because the um, the model seems to rotate on the centre driving wheel, or at least that's how I see it, um, crossing the points would look a little bit... well, they would look bad. So, with all current lengths of locos, or with any loco that's longer than, say, a tank loco, or this uh, GWR 4400 class that we're just pulling up to, um, we're going to start initiating, or we're going to start using maneuver, where we essentially move the coaches over a platform, and we'll do it from that. Um, but seeing as we're just going to be watching the camera count this time, I decided we should do a cinematic montage of the whole thing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in about three to five minutes.
Okay, that's the shunting maneuver done and dusted. It took a little longer than expected, um, but it's done now. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm just going to change the lamps um, to what is currently my work in progress system, which means this means that it's a train, and then that's uh, the side that all the driving controls are on. And strangely enough, even though most of the locos are all British, they have different sides on which the controls are on, for example, like the reverser and the brake lever and all that. I'm not sure if it means anything. Um, but it gives me a reason to put more laps on the back. Anyway, plot twist, I will not be returning this loco or this train to Midpava. That goes to the uh, responsibility of my camera account. So while she goes and gets ready and gets set up, um, I will head down to the third coach and I will partake in a bit of dispatching. Should be interesting. And we'll just kind of uh, wait while we'll allow non-existent passengers get on. I heard that there's um, some coaches in the works with uh, some updated coaches which have like opening doors, opening windows. Gives me a couple of ideas maybe for um, some passenger POVs. I'll, I'll think about that later, sometime later. Um, but yeah, hopefully trains should be set up and ready to go. I'm gonna give a signal to the driver. Which they appear to have heard. Okay, setting up. Oh. Let's get a good cinematic angle at this. So yeah, what we've done essentially is we've moved all of the coaches and the loco over a platform um, without using, without running around, without running the loco around on the points. So it just makes it, it's a bit more tedious, yes, but it makes it a little easier in terms of... Uh, in terms of... I guess it's just called operational interest, to be honest. It'd be easier to call it that much more fun. Looks like the loco has left the bridge. And now we're, uh, we're stranded. Which I suppose is fine. We've got a good pilot loco that we can use. Take a bit of a look around here. Bit doing some work. Uh, Trying to add some infrastructure and stuff, a bit of a road. Uh, someone pointed out that the entire station is bigger than the village that it serves. Um, I find that amusing. Unfortunately, there are very few, if not any, villages surviving. There's a train in the background as she struggles up the hill. Poor girl. Um, there are unfortunately very little villages surviving. It's kind of a ghost town. I'm not sure what to do with it. I don't want to get rid of it because oh, it's called Village Terminus and that's a village that it serves. Um, but I do want to kind of build around it. I want to do a lot of stuff around here, just like buildings and stuff. We've got a nice little underpass over here. Um, yeah. These are supposed to be billboards, but someone pointed out that they're just fine art. So this is clearly a very rich village or very uh, uh what would you call it like upper class village i don't think that was anyway we will get to our next we'll get to our now new loco uh, i'm gonna set that point when i remember and we'll wait for it i believe it should be a returning loco um but i'm not entirely sure will be the last train of the day so it's gonna take a while thankfully uh as a fellow British person, I can make my cup of hot tea, or my hot cup of tea, uh, on the stove, on the fireplace here, um, or the firebox, it's totally the right way to use a loco. Um, but yeah, we'll just hang around, I guess. Uh, see you soon.